Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working with the clock dies that you are probably watching on HSN right now. I will be adding in the cartouche dies as the background to our clock and there are some amazing dies that are in here. You see that you get a lot. I think there's 17 dies on this sheet plus it has the um, cut out it cuts out the card and it has flourishes so you can make something really amazing with these dies but i'm only just going to be using them as a background to our clock which is going to be the showcase of our card on today so let's get it opened up and ready to go and here is the information sheet which you already saw at the beginning of the video but you can see that there are some really great examples of how you can utilize these dies and even that blue one down in the bottom I'm going to be making something similar to that for someone's a male birthday um, pretty pretty soon this week actually and so I'm just like excited to get started with these dies you get the hands of the clock and this clock has roman numerals for the numbers and so we're gonna just get started with the um concertina dies and we're go i'm going to not be using the um, die that cuts out the whole card i'm going to be using the shadow layer card to cut out um, the card because I wanted it to be uh, a certain size and so I'm just going to use a, a already folded 5x7 card and I'm going to place the um, cut line of the die outside of the fold line of the folded card and run that through the die cutting machine so that we can get a shaped card. And my reasoning behind not using the die that was made for this was purely selfish reasons. I didn't want to cut up a whole 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I'm like, I already have some card bases already made. I'm going to use those and save my other paper. So uh, if you want to use your 12 by 12 and get a double sided and all that, go for it. I was being very stingy in this card. And so I grabbed just a 5x7 layer from a card kit, um, one of the finishing school card kits. I don't remember which one it was called, Wildflower Garden, I think. Um, and I'm going to use that layer, one of the layers that was in there, and I'm going to cut the same, use the same outline die that I just used for the card base and one of the inner die dies from the concertina cards to cut out these layers here for our card base and so you're going to get the inner and then the outer and we're going to use both of them so keep them both and i'm probably going to keep the frame and who knows what i'll use that on because i'm being very i don't know just keeping everything, hoarding everything right now. So let's take our card base and everything that we just cut up and put it to the side and do a little bit more die cutting. And while we're doing some die cutting, I just want to apologize for not doing the Friday share video. I got to get better at making these videos and being consistent and really doing that but sometimes I just get like I don't know crafters block and I, I don't know what to do even though I know I just go on and you know follow the directions and put it um, through and all of that sometimes I'm like I don't know which ones to do and, and then I just don't do anything so I do apologize I am going to work on myself <laughs> so that I can be better uh, one thing I do want to ask you guys is I want to do a live chat with you guys um, video and can you tell me 
when what you guys would want to when you guys would be available to do something like that and also tell me um if if you guys want to craft and chat or you just want to chat and if you want to craft and chat what would you want to work with and maybe even what ne my next video you want me to do is going to be a lot of people have requested that i do an impression dies foiling video and, and i just want you to know i heard you and i will be doing it i'm just waiting for the next shipment of impression dies to come through um so that i can do and those impression dies are shipping out on march 7th so as soon as i get them i will do the foiling video but if you need um to watch it right now if you go and watch my um, Christmas impression dies video, I foiled all of those impression dies. And so you can see it right away to learn the techniques. And we'll do it again as soon as I get my next shipment of the impression dies. And so that'll be pretty fun. And if you haven't already noticed, um, it is HSN Craft Day today. So what I will be ordering on Craft Day are the um the cross dies and i will be getting the the auto ship box i can't remember what it's called and the dies from that also i'm not going to be getting a whole lot because i also wanted the cartouche dies um the embossing folders but i don't think they're gonna be coming today unfortunately and we'll have to wait till the next craft day probably for those and so if out of um anything that i'm getting you guys want to see a video let me know and i'll make sure that uh, i get right on those because sometimes i don't know exactly what you guys want to see so um i'm always like i don't know what to make and I just kind of do my own thing, but I would like to do what you guys want me to do. So just let me know. And what are you guys going to be ordering on craft day today? I, I know that there's a lot going on, but I just don't think I need it all. And a lot of the things like um, I want to do the cross dies for Easter. So I don't want to do the Easter baskets or anything like that. What are you guys going to be um, purchasing? so i'm still on the fence about the banner dies because i really actually do want them but 35 dollars is a little much for some stamps in my opinion so right now i'm cutting out some of the um clock elements and you can um nestle these two into each other and cut them out because you're not going to need the inside so it's up to you if you want to save some paper or not as you can see i cut it out just like this but that's because I have a couple sheets of this paper. I think this paper came from Craft, uh, not Craft. Um, um, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? It came from Create, thank you. It came from Create, and so uh, I don't know what it's called or anything like that, but these are the three pieces that you'll need. And we'll also be cutting out a black um, clock face also, so just keep that in mind. And then I wanted a another layer that she kind of didn't give us. And so um, I grabbed one of my Crafter's Companion nest nesting dies. And I'm going to be also cutting that one out. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's just a hint bigger than the one that she gave us. And I just wanted that effect on the card so uh, this is uh, something that you can do or not do but as you can see it it cuts out the entire circle where the one that she gave us leaves a little bit like a fourth of an inch edge around there that I kind of wanted to cover up a lot of the cards in the example didn't have like all this going on I don't know why I chose to do all these layers but I did and I like them and it came out really nice but if you look at the examples you do not have to go layer after layer after layer after layer <laughs> um, but this is what you're gonna get this is what the die cuts look like and I had a lot of um, lotion on my hands which is why you see these like sparkly um, greasy areas on my mat I apologize um, 
and here is the one that cuts out from crafters companion and it has a stitched edge ar around it all right just a couple more cuts and we can start assembling the rest of this card and the last thing that we need to well the last two things that we need to cut out are the hands of our clock they're so very tiny find your scraps and definitely use those up and then cut out a black face to your um your clock and you'll see why we have two we're going to cut one of them up and use it in the center all right so these are all of the pieces that you should have right now and this is what we're going to utilize to put our clock together now one thing i do wish that there would have been with these clock is some sentiments that talked about time or something like that but i really do um love these dies and just the intricate detail that is in there and just how you know useful that these can be you can use these for pretty much anything it could be anniversary thank you uh anything so i i just really I'm going to be utilizing these dies a lot I feel like I just want to make a lot of cards with these and since this uh, main piece of the clock kind of looks like a, a doily you can use it and it's circular you can use it probably with a lot of your other um, circular dies because you know last year she did a lot of square cards they had a lot of circular um, aspects and elements to them like the china cabinet and um, all of those other finishing school craft boxes so this goes right really well right along with those themes and so you know if you don't want your clock face to look like the or not face but the background to look like this grab one of your other dies from one of your other circles and um, use that instead and so with this one I cut out two of these circles because um, I want to cut out the center and use that on the center of the black one so I just like I said I was doing a, a lot <laughs> I probably didn't need to do all this um, but I was just doing a lot a lot more than probably necessary but I mean it, it came out really pretty and what I was thinking also is instead of uh, you know cutting that out and just using it as a decorative element you could stamp your sentiment right there in the center of that um the roman numerals and then put your your clock hands right there um over the top with the sentiment right there and so that's an idea that you can use I just glued this down straight onto my metallic cardstock and that was what I did instead of propping it up with foam pads or anything like that. Um, with the Roman numerals, later on I did go back with a crafter's companion sparkle pen and go over the, the black and give it some sparkle and shine. I thought that was pretty neat. And with this piece, I think I did prop it up. Yeah, I propped it up on with foam pads. And I started to put it up with the one at the top. It needed the 12, so I have to rotate it so that it actually tells the right time. That's funny. So pay attention to where your numbers are. This card really should be an interactive card in that the hands of the clock should move probably and be placed on with some sort of a maybe like a brad or something i'm not sure i don't own a brad <laughs> i do not and so i just glued them on and put them on whatever time i wanted now if you were you know doing like a wedding card and you, you could put the time of the wedding was supposed to start or a baby announcement it could be the time that the baby was born things like that i don't have any specific time for this card it's just going to be a random time and i'm just going to glue it down and i think that the 
small hand is supposed to go on top of the big hand and then I did it backwards <laughs> so there might be clock etiquette or like a way that it's supposed to go together and so make sure you put your little hand on the top of the big hand and so now this is almost all put together just fit in a fiddling a little bit with what the time looks like and now we're going to put on our embellishments and as you can see I grabbed some stamps from crafters companion good job crafters companion coming through with the clocks I got this out of one of their magazine subscriptions I used to get those all the time and I stamped it in pink and to go with the background of the card I'm getting better at my stamping I'm getting uh, excited about that propping it up with foam pads and it is on a pattern cardstock and um, so I just uh, you can use any stamp that you would have that might have the time or something on it or a, even a sentiment that says something about time I was looking everywhere for a time sentiment and I probably could have went on my Cricut and made one um, but I changed my mind I just said I, I'm just gonna do do I'll do some later but not right now and I think I'm gonna do a Cricut video about making your own sentiments because someone asked about that so uh, I'm, I'm working on that also <laughs> and just gluing down some tiny flowers Honestly, you could flower this thing up to the max all around and everything else. When I saw some of the samples that she did, you know, they had a lot of flowers going on. But I'm going to keep it simple with just these couple of flowers. And then I grabbed two sentiments because I just wasn't sure about what kind of sentiment I wanted on here. And even though I normally don't commit... <laughs> at all the sentiments I'm going to be committing today on one of these sentiments so I'm just auditioning this one and seeing if I like it yeah maybe maybe not what do you guys think and then I'm trying out this one here and seeing what that one looks like and I like all the circles together so I'm gonna go with the keeping on with the theme of the circles and I am going to actually glue this one down and stick it down it will be permanent and I think that this card is actually going to be going to someone in the next couple of days so uh, it's gonna have a new home and so pretty much this is what the card is going to be and what it's going to look like hopefully you guys are enjoying this video um don't forget to tell me what do you guys want <laughs> what do you guys want to see what 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 am, what do you guys need from this channel in the description box and um thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love it if you would share this video with a crafty friend all right, have a good one. Bye.